morning everybody, uh, it's Marie from Poetry Paper Crafts. Um, I wanted to pop on this morning and do a really quick craft room tour. I'm going to try and make it not too long. Um, there's not that much to look at. Um, I have pared down my crafting resources quite a lot, just to those things that I really, really enjoy using um, and the things that I'm happiest using and the things that make the best pages for me. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to flip the camera around and I will show you my new craft space and um, yeah, let's go. So for context, this is the room that it's in. This is our new extension. Um, this is the kitchen I'm stood in right now. And then as you just come around this corner here is where you will find my new craft space. Um, so half of the furniture that's in here right now is not actually staying in this room. Um, the sofa, the TV are all going to go back in the lounge, but that's the current room that's going to be decorated. So everything's kind of coming here and we've got a nice space um, for Christmas. i um, really excited because um, when we first moved in three years ago, we moved in in the February and I said, we'll be in our new extension by Christmas. Um, and everyone laughed at me because I didn't realise how long extensions and building work and stuff like that took. Um, yes, yeah, so I got laughed at quite a lot. So this is my new um, space just here. I'll give you a quick view of it. So there's a wardrobe, there's a really long desk, there's two sets of uh, the smaller Alex drawers, one set of the big Alex drawers, there's a, um, a trolley there. Um, and that's about it, that is the whole of my craft area. The only thing you won't find in this part of my craft area is my albums, or are my albums. They will be housed in the study, um, in a bookshelf, in a collax unit, um, in there. So, yeah, let me just show you quickly. If I can do this with the camera, I will. Um, what I do when I want to work is this little trolley comes out over here. And then these drawers here, the larger Alex drawers, they're on wheels um, and I did this specifically because I knew I could tuck them away but then when I wanted to craft I knew I could get hold of them and pull them out and then they kind of line up down this side here there we go and then I've got a whole extra surface um, to add to my space and then my chair goes under much more easily and I can move about. I do have two bins down there. I have a paper bin and a rubbish bin because I'm, I like to be, I like to be nice to the environment. So we have paper recycling. So I'll start at the wardrobe. If I just show you up at the top, I've got one of these boxes from Ikea. They're um, like a large plastic box. Of, I don't know what they're called, um, but they have a lid. I store all my um, finished layouts in there um, until they get popped into albums. So this is my wardrobe. Um, and if I just step back, you can see I've got a unit here at the bottom. This unit is from Storage for Crafts, and I think there are 12 slots in each side. And I measured specifically so that this would fit inside the wardrobe. And then we've put a shelf in the wardrobe as well, just to give the wardrobe a bit of extra stability because you know, IKEA furniture is fabulous, but it's not the greatest. Um, quality and strength. Um, so I've got a shelf in there as well. Um, we did have to um, be quite, um, we had to shove to get the unit inside the wardrobe but it's worked and I love the unit I just really didn't want to be able to see it so I wanted to be able to have the doors on so I could shut the doors and hide it all the way because of where it is because it's in this um, kind of family living space. Um, so how I've organised my boxes I've got um, I'm not going to pull them all out, but I've got white cardstock in this one because I use a lot of white cardstock. I've got uh, mixed media cardstock in this one. I've got rainbow papers and then it basically goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, another blue, grey, brown and black. All down this side, so just like a rainbow of colours. So I know if I want to pull out some yellowy papers, I just pull out one one box and I've got my 12 by 12s underneath and then I've got an Ikea bag, uh, those Ziploc bags with all the little scraps in as well so I know exactly where to find all my scraps. And then at this side we've got um, some completed layouts and some cut files that I've already cut. So I've got a box for those. I've got a box of 6 by 6 papers and um, bits and pieces in there. 
Um, and then I've got the smaller boxes. Now you can get units where um, one side is 12 by 12 and then the other side is for smaller units, but I decided, smaller boxes, sorry, I decided to get the bigger one so that I had the flexibility that if I wanted to put large boxes in, I could. But I've got then boxes of thickers. I've got my letters in that one. I have words and phrases in that one. I have uh, stickers, cardstock stickers in that one. And bits of chipboard as well. I've got some little ink pads in this one. I have embossing in this one. I've got brads and things. Don't use them very often, but I've, I don't want to throw them away. And then I've got another one of, like that with buttons and paper clips and things in. Uh, ribbons, again, don't use them very often, but I didn't want to throw them because I'm... I like what I've got, I just I just don't want to get rid of them yet. Uh, so I've got some green markers down there, don't use those very often either. And then down here I've got some stamped images and some cards I think in there. I don't do a lot of card making, um, but I wanted to just keep a few bits and pieces. I specifically arranged this top shelf so that you can, I could fit my Cutspilla crop in here. So this is my trimmer. Um, I think this is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, so it just fits in that space beautifully and then when I want it out when I am crafting I bring it out and it sits on top of that little unit there so I've got down this side all boxes with all my photographs that are pre-printed um, with little tags on to tell me what's in each box so we've got family, outdoors, winter, animals all different things so I can find kind of photographs that I want to scrapbook I've got some little drawers to the side here these ones have got my distress inks in um, move that for a second so I've positioned it so I can open everything so I've got all my distress oxide ink pads in there these ones at the back I've got two of them and these are full of ephemera and bits of die cuts and things different packs of die cuts so they're all in there so I've got unforgettable I've got truly grateful and everything's got its own drawer um, so I can find a few more of the photo boxes on the top just because I couldn't fit them all in the stack. Kitchen roll, because you know when you're doing mix, mixed media apps and then you kitchen roll. Spare pens and then just, yeah these are just hiding in here until we put the Christmas tree up. Um, every year I buy, um, I say one, it's never one, it's usually like three or four um, and this year it's definitely three. Um, new decorations for the tree, um, so this year I've got a pine cone thing. I've got a little penguin in a tree, he's so cute. And then a little jar with some Christmas trees and some snow inside. I like that one. So there we go. And that's basically that wardrobe. So it's just my paper and my ephemera storage. So really happy with how that turned out. And then if I move to the top of my desk, I'll just take you across my desk. My selfie is sat there. Um, I do keep the tray for the selfie just stacked at the back here. I've got photographs in here that I'm, I'm scrapping at the moment, so they're from Lapland UK from last year. So I've been using my Lottie's paper um, kit, I've been using my Holly Jolly collection um, to scrap those, so they're just in there. Um, I've got glues and sprays just here. I've got a new die, a set of dies that I bought that I really want to play with. I love foliage, so I've bought those. And um, this I bought specifically because it's wide enough um, to fit some uh, 12 by 12 paper in. So if I just take a sheet of this, so this is the Holly Jolly collection, it fits in beautifully at the back and I can keep out anything that I'm currently sort of scrapping with. Then I've got my art light, which is a daylight lamp, so just pop it on like it's different settings. Pot of pens, couple of little plants, my Tim Holtz uh, mixed medium mat and these gorgeous little um, dishes, I bought these. Um, for keeping my ephemera in on my desk um, partly because well mainly because they fit with my colour scheme and they're really really pretty um, then I've got my laptop I've got my little penguin my duck um, and he's he's called Elliot my son is called Elliot and this one was called Elliot so I've got him on my desk and a plant and then my cricket at the very end and um, I've positioned this specifically so that there is enough room um, at the back um, for the mat to come out without having to move the Cricut and there's enough room at the front here 
that I can fit the mat on as well. So that works really, really well. And then the last thing to show you on top of the desk is how I film my process videos. Now this is my, this is just a webcam um, that had a screw thread on it. It folds, it folds up like this as well. So you might be able to like clip it onto the top of your computer, but there's a screw thread under there. So I was able to purchase this arm um, from Amazon and it does extend, there's a screw here, so it comes right out if you need it to. Um, comes all the way out um, but I don't need it to because that's perfect on, on where it's positioned just there and I said to my husband the only I love my craft area but I didn't really like the camera being there but obviously I still want to be able to record my process videos um, so he's made me it's not been painted yet um, he's made me this so basically what happens is it just hooks out so all I'm left with on the wall is that um, it's also got the wrong screws in by the way at the moment um, but I'm left with that on the wall which is going to be painted the same colour as the wall um, and I can put my camera away and then when I want to use my camera all I have to do is just hook, um, hook it back on again and it's sturdy and it's not going to move and I can record my process videos so yeah my husband's ace, love him <laughs> um, so let's take you to my drawers I'll just go really quickly through these there's nothing wildly exciting um so top one for me is foamy dimensional stickers foam tape scissors and distressing tools um and my scissors and um i've got my uh, external hard drive there for recording videos on this my computer gets upset when i do too many so big sheets of foam pads i've got double-sided sticky tape and i've got um, a dish of enamel dots there Next one down has sequins and Bramble Fox um, perspectives in. Oh, tray of those. Oh, and spare selfie ink and um, paper at the back. And of course, wet wipes because every craft room needs wet wipes. Next drawer down has larger items. I've got my ATG gun, I've got my stamping platform, I've got my stamp cleaner some pen sets and i've also got a crocodile down there again don't use this very often but i do use them so it's nice to have them and then i've got a whole drawer at the bottom of ribbons and threads and flowers and things and they're all organized into bags by color so, oh and i've got some um chipboard words as well in here so yeah if you just pull out you want some yellow uh, or orange they're in the bag all together so nicely organised. I do like a bit of organisation. So if I just wish you over here, these are my larger drawers. The top one is really boring because I needed a drawer for actual work things uh, and my diary and things. So that's what's in there. Really boring. Uh, my next drawer down, they're all pretty similar. Um, I've bought um, lots more of the bags um, that you get your orders from in from um, Oculus Paper. I've bought loads of these. And I've got a bag for each collection. So that's truly grateful. I've got a bag here with Dear Lizzie's uh, She's Magic in. I've got my Pink Fresh Studio uh, Just a Little Lovely collection. I've got my Think Happy kit. Then I've got all my Cocoa Vanilla collections. Barring the one that I really, really want right now. That's been put away for Christmas. Never mind. Um, and then the same again as I go down. Uh, so this is my Christmas and Autumn Winter drawer. And boy papers, I've got Christmas and, and autumn winter. Sometimes I also put the ephemera, uh, not ephemera, yeah, the ephemera and the um, like car sort of stickers and things in with the collection as well. So that one is Pink Fresh's um, Home for the Holidays. Um, so I've put the uh, alphas and the car sort of stickers in there as well. And it just basically continues, it's the same all the way down until we get to the bottom drawer. Uh, where I keep a bag of packaging because I want, um, I keep my packaging obviously for doing the packaging technique and I've got all my cut mats and larger um, items. I've got cut mats in here, I've got mylar sheets which is what I cut stencils out of on my Cricut and they're all in there. Then I've got my little carts which I often pull around to the other side um, with just with things in that I'm going to use quite a lot so we've got uh, craft knives and scissors and tools, pens, pencils, um, and some then little palette knives and things. 
and some paintbrushes. Um, some Xyron little sticky pads. I'm trying to use them up just because they're in my drawer. We've got double sided sticky, we've got glue. Um, and then this is where I've got my big shot and a little revolution down at the bottom as well. Um, I don't do a lot of die cutting, but I do do it, so I, I do want those things accessible. And then, the reason I don't mind having these drawers less accessible is because I don't use what's in them as much. So, in the top one, I have um, my gesso and paintbrushes and ruler and messy mat. I've then got uh, watercolour paints here and I've got all my acrylic paints laid out in there as well so if I want to do some mixed media I know I'm going to have to go in these drawers. Next one down contains nouveau drops, um, embellishing, em embossing powders and pastes and things like that and then I think, I have to pull this a little bit further out, there's all my washi tapes as well. And then I've got stamps. I didn't think I had many stamps, but they fill the whole drawer. So I obviously have more than I thought I had. <laughs> and then the last one is punches and dies. I don't have a lot of dies, but the ones I do have, I use a lot. And again, I don't have a lot of punches, but the ones I do have, I do like to use some tab punch, hexagon punch. I've got a couple of little uh, framey punches from Sizzix and things like that in there. Um, and that is about it for my craft area. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour this morning. Um, any questions, pop them below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, but thanks for watching. Bye for now.